Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna be playing with drugstore and high-end makeup. I wanted to film the intro with my makeup on today so I could show you. There is no difference on either side of my face. I look exactly the same. I bet if you guessed, you wouldn't know which was the drugstore, which was the high-end side. <laughs> if you're interested, go ahead and keep watching and thank you so much for being here today. Guys, so to start out, I'm gonna start with the left side of my face with my drugstore items, and I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Prime Focus Serum. This is very luminous, very dewy. It's kind of what we're gonna do today. Just a little bit. And for my right side, I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. This is also very luminous. A little bit here. The consistency of both is liquidy. So I figured that they would be good dupes for each other. For foundation, on my left side, I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Foundation. This is the dewy one. Then with my Real Technique sponge, just start applying. I wanna go in with like a natural skin, neutral eye type of look. I don't wanna do like crazy glam. Just applying this lightly. I feel like I always say that and then I always end up like with a full glam face. You see the finish of this foundation is actually very natural, very dewy. For my high-end side, I do have the NARS uh, Radiant Foundation. I just applied it to the wrong sponge. <laughs> and just... Okay, yeah, so the color is very similar, thank goodness. <laughs> it's also like the foundation name, Radiant. So that's what I wanted to go for, for my high-end side. Something comparable to Wet n Wild. So they're both luminous. Apply with a sponge, definitely luminous. If you went in with a brush, it would be more full coverage. But this is kind of like what I wanted to go for. Love them both, I don't see a difference. I feel like they're both good. Concealer on my drugstore side, I'm using the Morphe concealer. And I'm almost out of this one. So just a little bit there, a little bit there. Like I said, I don't want much coverage. And then I'm using the, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer that goes with the foundation. And then the shade Cafe Con Leche is what I have here. So as you can see, the shades are very similar. Although this one is a little bit thicker, the color is comparable. How many times am I gonna say that today? Real techniques for the drugstore side and just start blending that out. Elf sponge, I'm using the tip here to blend out that NARS concealer. So I do see that the NARS concealer, with it being thicker in consistency, it is definitely more full, uh, full coverage than the Morphe one. Not say that these are dupes. They both blend it out super easily, same or almost the same shade. I'm over these lashes. <laughs> Must say this one provided more coverage. For my setting powder under my eyes, I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus. You guys already know this is my absolute favorite powder of all time. And then for my high-end side, I have the uh, Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder here. And I'm gonna take my e.l.f. sponge and just set that under eye. So, it's not a huge difference, but I do prefer the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I feel like it gives me a more mattified look to my under eyes, which is ultimately what I want. Set so the face, drugstore side, I'm using the CoverGirl Advanced, is it Advanced Radiance? Yeah, Advanced Radiance. Just taking my little sponge, going directly in the powder, and just setting the face. I have this one from Lancome what it looks like and I'm just gonna take my sponge and repeat this one is a little bit darker I think than the covergirl one they do exactly the same so far I don't see a difference with my skin for blush drugstore side I have the wet and wild color icon mellow wine if I could get this open and this is what it looks like so this one ooh, is very pigmented I have to blend you out a lot Oh my gosh, I forgot how pigmented this was. Let's blend this. 
And for the high-end side, I have the Buxom one, and this one's called Wonderlust. And I'm gonna try to get that excess of the brush so I could go in and apply. So the colors are similar, but this one I feel like it's a little bit lighter and also like peachier maybe. This one's like more subtle, but I think so far, you don't see a huge difference. These are both great blushes. For bronzer, obviously you already know, butter bronzer for my drugstore side. I absolutely love this bronzer. I actually love it more than the one that I'm gonna use for high end. It's more pigmented, easier to blend. Absolutely love this. The high end side, you already know, Urban Decay Beach Bronzer. Let's compare. Not the same. This one's a little bit darker but also the other one blends easier. Actually looks like more red. I don't know what it looks like on camera, but love both. For highlight, I am gonna go in with my Master Chrome from Maybelline, absolutely love this highlighter. Hit the high points of the face. Love this highlighter, it's so buttery and creamy. High inside, I have the Anastasia Amrezi um, highlight. This was a huge hit when it came out. Barely use it because I really don't highlight my face anymore. But for the sake of the video, I wanted to compare. This one's definitely more pigmented and more blinding than the Master Chrome highlight. Brows, I feel like with brows is a little bit more difficult because I love both drugstore and high-end products, but my absolute favorite, you know, is the NYX Micro Brow. I have the Urban Decay, um, is it Brow Blade? Yeah, so this one does have an ink side and then a pencil side. So I am gonna go in with the pencil. I'm just gonna brush my hairs up. And I'm just gonna fill in the little gaps. Nothing crazy. I really want like a natural brow today. Very easy. I already know I love this pencil. The high-end side, I'm gonna go in with Brow Blade. This is the darkest shade. I think it's Dark Drapes, I believe it's called. And just repeat the process. So they're both very creamy, easy to work with, not too waxy. And I just filled in my brows in like two minutes. Obviously not perfectly, but I'm not trying to go for like a full defined, super clean brow moment. <laughs> you see how easy that was? Okay, I feel like this one's a little bit creamier. And the shades are not the same. The NYX Micro Brow is definitely a little bit darker, which I like. Also, the, this one doesn't have a spoolie, this one does. So. Now, to set the brows, I do have two different brow gels. So for my drugstore side, the Revolution brow gel. This shade, I know it doesn't match me, but I didn't have any other drugstore gel. This is gonna be definitely too light. To set the hairs. So it's definitely too light, but it's definitely pigmented as well. And then I have the Anastasia brow, I don't know what you're called. And just go ahead and do the same on this one. This one is my shade. So you know I'm gonna like this one better. I wanna use the Too Faced Peanut Butter and then the Wet n Wild Not A Basic Peach Palette. There are some colors in here that are very similar, so that's why I chose them both. Store side, let's go ahead and start with this transition shade here. And I'm just gonna do like a basic eye today. And this is super pigmented, as you can see. I tapped off the excess and this is how much I still have on my brush. And I love these types of colors. I use this in my full face of Wet n Wild video, which if you're interested, I'll link. I'd be surprised at how well these products perform. I just put this all over my eye in like 10 seconds. It's amazing. For my high-end eye, go in with the Nuts About You shade on the Too Faced palette, and the shades are super similar. I would say they're the same almost. Oh. I just tasted it, it tastes sweet. <laughs> yeah, the palette smells like chocolate if you didn't know. So that's only a plus for this one. So yeah, the shades are, I would think, I think they're identical actually. And I did grab a different brush by the way, so I'm not cheating. I love this eye look already. So yeah, these are both very similar, not only the color, but the blendability and the pigmentations, they're out of this world. For the outer corner, I'm gonna go in with 
the darker shade in this palette here just a little bit now with this other brush with nothing on it I'm just gonna blend out those edges simple but nice other palette I don't see a darker color I'm gonna have to apply the same color on the other eye so we don't look crazy just cheating just a little bit color is applied again going back in with that brush and just blending out those edges I do want to go in with some glitter and I do have two amazing dupes so I have the profusion Gling eye topper for the left side and then the Stila magnificent metals you already know these are a favorite I'm gonna apply a little bit on like the center of my eyelid So just a little pop of glitter. Colors are very similar, so I did want to use both. But you see the colors are the same. They're both equally glittery. You don't need to spend all this money to get this type of payoff. So I'm going to go in with my mascara, Rimmel Lash Accelerator, you already know for the bottom lashes. I'm gonna go in with this Lancome mascara for my other eye. And this this is a little crazy looking. <laughs> okay, yep, instantly coats your lashes. My Laura Mercier powder side, I've got some creases. On my wet and wild photo focus side, I do not. So I think we have a winner for today's battle. <laughs> that was super easy. I'm not sure I like this one though, but. I do have two very similar lipsticks. This was a little bit hard to come up with, like consistency and texture and everything. This is Revlon and Shameless. This one's matte, and I'm gonna apply it to half of my lips. So hard to like not fill the rest of my lips in. And then I have the Kat Von D one in the shade Cathedral. So the cathedral, oh, the colors are like the same. It's off in the back. <laughs> cathedral is definitely drier and it tugs on my lips more. The Revlon one is definitely creamier. But I feel like the cathedral side would last longer on my lips because it is a little bit drier. Hey guys, and this is the completed look. I'm sure if you saw me on the street, you wouldn't know which side is the high end, which side is the drugstore. I look exactly the same. I feel like there's, well, the eyebrows are a little bit different in shade, but everything else is the same. Like, I'm really surprised at how well both products performed. Obviously, you don't need to spend all this money to look like this. So, it goes to show, drugstore products for the win. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for being here with me today and hanging out and putting some makeup on. If you love drugstore products like me, go ahead and give me a thumbs up so I can make more videos and also subscribe to my channel for three videos every single week. See you on my next one.